The Bonaire Best on Ground Award bill goes to the player adjudged by people like yourself and Chief and the Wolf and Spud and all the experts, Nath Brown on Triple M Football, to have been the best player at the game they were watching. And for the second year in a row, this award has been won by the superstar from Collingwood, Dane Swan, who's been good enough to come in and join us on the rush. Hello, Swanee. Hey, boys. Hey, mate. Another fantastic season. This this is a tough crowd. So if they're voting you the best player in the comp, then that is something to be very proud of. Absolutely. mate. a little bit surprising, but um, you know, I'll take it. Absolutely. Bloody if you will. Have you had a better year this year than last? Um... My last half of the year probably has been as good as last year, but yeah. obviously it's well documented that I wasn't going great for about a month there. And um, so I was probably a bit more consistent last year I, over the whole 25 rounds or however many we played. But I think my last 10 or so weeks has been as good as I um, was going last year, which is, mm. which is nice. Mate, you're an unbelievable possession accumulator, and it fascinates people in football as to how you do it because – uh, every other club has midfielders who drift in and out and have their 30 possession games and then you'll see them have a 22 and you think, oh, well, he wasn't as good today. Whereas I, I reckon you have more 30 possession games than any other player in football. How is that possible? Yeah, I'm not sure, mate. It's just um, I'm not good at much, many other things on the footy field. So I think my probably my greatest strength is getting it and um, whether that's work rate or just knowing where to run, um, it's just luckily that I can do that because I can't kick and I can't do many other things. So um, it's just lucky that I, that I can get it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be getting the game. You talked to Arizona when you came back and said how big a difference it's made to your fitness coming into the finals. What do you do over there? Yeah, um, oh, well, for starters, uh, I think whether I was in Arizona or whether I would have had a rest just in Melbourne, I think that probably made a huge difference. I, was, I wasn't playing, which which helped me uh, you know, freshen up my body. So... But uh, in time, in terms of Arizona, what do I do over there? Me, Butters, uh, obviously Nathan Brown, Brent McCaffrey, and Darren Jolly yep. just went over, and, and we just pretty much did like a normal uh, week here. But um, obviously, it was a lot more condensed because there was only four of us. So we'd get up, you know, ten, say train at ten o'clock. You know, obviously work really solely, do you know maybe a bit of extra running, um, a lot of ball skills, um, and then do weights and then pretty much have the rest of the afternoon off to lounge by the pool and so you don't try get, and get smashed. A tan. It's not you're I'll, not get, it's not like a boot camp. It's not. You're not training 24 hours a day. Butters isn't waking us up at 3 a.m. in the morning, kicking our door down, going, that's it, we're going for a hike or, you know, yep. stuff like that. We're on, not on the army rations or anything like that. But <laughs> um, it's just it's just good to get away. And, you know, whether I was, like I said, whether I was here or in Arizona, my body just needed a break. You know, I was struggling for form and, and for a bit of fitness. And um, they decided to take me over there. And, you know, it's done wonders for me. And uh, I, as you've seen with Heath go over there and, you know, the mm. way Heath played on the weekend. So I'm sure... Mm. The club have looked at that and realised that you know it could be a great strength for us to have, and you might see it next year if one of the boys get hurt, they might go over uh, next year too. A really good win on the weekend because you did have some boys that haven't played a lot of footy, and also some sore boys there. So in the end, it was a, it was a bloody good win. Yeah, no doubt, mate. Um, you know, West Coast finished fourth for a reason. They're you know they're a great side. Um, their pressure was amazing. I think they had over a hundred tackles, which, did, which yeah. is uh, you know, which is pretty good for them. And you know, we just felt out there. You know the intensity steps up when it's a final, and just their pressure was great and turn, forced us to turn the ball over and just to uh, you know, a bit of dodgy use under pressure. And you know, like I said, they finished fourth for a reason. They'll be really hard to beat this uh, Saturday night. So you know, they've done a terrific job over there, and uh, they'll go a long way. Now, Swanee, uh, what we like to do on the rush hour every now and then is uh, go on rig watch. Ooh. And uh, Taz, I'm presuming, just from the outside looking in, is, uh, would have the best rig at the club. The, 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 the cannons, it's extraordinary. <laughs> who's got the, so we take that as a given, who's got the sloppiest rig? <laughs> oh. Who's, who's not, not, not packing enough heat? Jeez, well, there's, there's a couple. Um, ben Johnson, and he's one of my best mates, but he... He's not great. Not great. <laughs> no, no, yeah. And he's been in the system for a long time. Oh, but it works for him. He's um, he's played over two hundred games. Mm-hmm. He's um, uh, you know, he's a freak, and he's playing some unbelievable footy. But I dare say, um, his best look isn't down the beach in yep. his in his boardies. <laughs> um, who else? Who else? Who else are you tipping in? Who else in there? isn't great? Daisy. Yeah, he's got he's got the chest of a ten year old boy. <laughs> he's, uh, yes. He's like Flat Stanley. He's, he's no good. He's uh, he's very thin. Yes. Nick Maxwell's got no chest. He hasn't got a good rig. He hasn't got a good head, so it's <laughs> yeah, not yeah, much. Yeah. Um, yeah, but mind you, when Tazza takes his top off, it's a, we all look pretty ordinary. Yeah. He's got a, he's got some kind of rig, and you know it's a bit disappointing standing next to him. Now on Twitter, you uh, love the Twitter, Swanee, which is interesting because I thought you wouldn't be a Twitterer, man. But uh, you and Dale Thomas you go at each other a bit. Yeah, mate, it's just a bit, little bit of fun. Um, <laughs> we have a bit of a laugh with each other, and. Uh, I suppose you've got to be careful what you yes. what you can say on them. And I, I sort of learned the hard way, and I think Dale sort of learned the hard way as well. But um, 
just a little bit of fun. You know, we get so policed in the media these days, just probably an outlet for us to have a little bit of a laugh and I suppose get the supporters and anyone who really wants to listen to what I have yeah. to say, uh, in a little bit of an insight into my personality, I suppose. No, it's good, isn't it? Because no, we love it. And we see some are ordinary. Some no, of no, blokes no, can't no. tweet. What about on-field tweeting, if you like? I, we, we always focus on Triple M on some of the trash that gets talked out there. Who's the best from your team? Who, uh, who would you say in the Collingwood team does the best job of uh, getting into the heads of the opposition? Did, Dids is pretty clever and pretty witty. <laughs> yep. he, uh, he's good. He, he's, he makes me laugh a couple of times on the ground. Lee Brown chirps a lot, but um, <laughs> I'm not sure why. Brings nothing to the yeah, table. Yeah, no, he, like, he loves the yap, but he, he can't back up with the way he plays. So he uh, he, um, <laughs> he chirps a lot for, for no apparent reason, but um, this is probably the most clever one. And the opposition, who would you say in the comp when you play against them, you go, yeah, you know you're going to cop it. You've got to be clever, don't they? Yeah. It's, it's all right just doing the usual ones. Yeah, just yeah. The, you, know, you need a little bit of who's good humid at them? I'm pretty lucky. I don't really get. Well, when Attacks. you when you can um, play, well they don't you, run you, with you. you You're trying to catch you, <laughs> Swanee. Um, um, who's good? Luke Hodge gave me a good spray the other week. What did yeah. he say? Oh, it's probably best left, oh, right. left on the field, mate. He, uh, he, he was pretty good. I like the clever ones who actually take a little bit of time to think about it, not just ones where yeah. you know you you got yeah. bad tattoos or something. Like that. Yeah, they're, they're pretty ordinary. Exactly. Like, um, yeah, but the ones who are a bit, a bit clever and I can get a laugh out of, they're the ones that I like.